tutorial will walk you through the basics of modeling an airplane using background images. You will discover that the background option under the window toolbar menu is very useful for designing aircraft that already has three plan views. This example will construct a Cessna 210 in 3D using a top view and a side view. The background picture option is useful because it allows the user to line up the model directly with the background image to ensure that the shapes are correct. Please note that only JPEG files may be used. To set the background picture, on the background browser select JPEG image. Another window should have opened. You will use this to search for the desired image. Select the desired image and click OK to set it. For this example, I will use a background picture of clouds. You can use the sliders next to Width Scale and Height Scale to change the size of the background picture. You can also use the X and the Y offset sliders to move around the background picture. Selecting Reset Defaults will return the picture to the original dimensions and placing it when it was first imported into VSP. In order to remove the image, select JPEG Image, then select Cancel the image should have disappeared from the main window. Let's begin modeling the Cessna 210. Let's begin by modeling the fuselage. First we need to upload the top view of a Cessna 210. Select JPEG image and locate where you saved the top view of the Cessna 210. Then select OK. Let's resize the picture so that the focus is on the fuselage by increasing the size. Center it in the middle of window. Now add Fuse to and hit F5. We are now working on the top view of the fuselage. We will need to change the length of the fuselage to the published length of a Cessna 210. In the Shape tab, change the length to 28.2 feet. Adjust the model until the fuselage fits inside the picture. Now it's time to start modifying the cross sections. Let's focus on the nose of the airplane. Move section 1 forwards and click add. Move section 2 forwards so that it's near where section 1 is. This will allow us to alter the nose without affecting the rest of the fuselage. Select section 1 and choose a circular cross section. Adjust the size of the cross section until the nose outline matches up. In this way, you can adjust the size of other cross sections to match up with the outline of the fuselage. We can also sharpen up the nose of the airplane by adjusting the left and right side tangent lines. Use a similar method to add more cross sections and adjust the size of the cross section to match the outline of the picture along the length of the fuselage. Pause the video to adjust the cross sections in your model. When you have completed this, resume the video to begin adjusting the side view. Now let's upload the side view. Use the same steps as before to get the background image. Select F7 to work in the side view. Let's shift the fuselage so that it's centered in the window. and resize the fuselage to fit along the picture. Modify the fuselage cross-section by cross-section. Try not to move any of the cross-sections that are already there. Instead, add in new cross-sections. Pause the video to finish modifying the fuselage. Once you have finished, resume again to add wings. Now that you have finished modifying the fuselage, let's add in wings. First, change the background picture to one of the top view. Then add in an MS wing. Adjust your view so that the fuselage lines up with the model. The MS wing comes with a default of three sections, but for this model we only need one, so let's delete the two outer sections. 
Now adjust the span of the wing to the stated span of the Cessna 210, which is 36.75 feet. In the section tab, adjust the various parameters to match the outline of the picture, such as the sweep, the root cord, and the tip cord. And move it back along the x-axis. And to keep adjusting these a little, let's bring in the root cord. Give a little bit of a sweep. Increase the span a little bit. Once you have completed that, also increase the number of interpolated cross sections in the wing. Now we're going to copy and paste the wing so that we can create the horizontal stabilizer. First, let's name it front wing. Then select copy and paste. And let's move this wing back along the x-axis. Now we're ready to begin modifying the horizontal stabilizer. Use the parameters in the section tab to match the shape of the wing with the outline shown in the picture. So we'll decrease the span, add some sweep, move the wing back, Now let's switch to the side view. So go to Window and Background, JPEG, Side View, OK. Select F7. Let's move the picture to the center of the window. And let's match up our model. Use the General Transforms tab to adjust the locations of the wing. And now for the horizontal stabilizer. Then use the foil tab to change the size of the airfoil. For the horizontal stabilizer, let's make it 0.1. And for the front wing, let's change it to 0.2. And let's raise that location a bit. For the front wing, use the Y rotation to tilt the angle. Now let's create the vertical stabilizer. Add an MS wing and remove any symmetry there may be. Rotate it 90 degrees about the X axis. Let's move it down. For this case, it may be easier to hide the other parts so that you may focus on just the tail. Let's name this vertical stabilizer. Also color it black. Again, use the various parameters on the section tab to alter the shape. Try this now on your own and resume play when you're ready to continue with the final finishing touches. Now that you have completed the wings and the fuselage, it is time to add the finishing touches. We can add a propeller to this plane. Go to Prop and Add It and use the general transforms to move it to the proper location. And in the shape tab you can increase the size of the propeller blades. To finish off the look you can shade the airplane by selecting all then hitting shade. As you can see here is the final product that we have developed. You can also add background images to the picture as well such as one of clouds. Now you have completed your model of a Cessna 210.